one and now she's just over it, that would seem odd. So I think that there's probably definitely going to be, I, mean, I would assume, some sort of reference to her <laughs> losing all of her children uh, in one fell swoop. Don't pardon that pun. Nice. <laughs> that was very nice. What are you thinking is about Dina that makes her such a fan favorite despite her being such a hard ass? You know, it's so interesting because I, I feel like... Yeah, it surprised me in the beginning that people were so into her because I was like, she could be portrayed as a villain. Like, people could view her as a villain. But I think there's that nugget of realness to her and we get to see the real emotions from her that people really love. And then I think it's just like the balls out, no nonsense. She doesn't take any crap from anybody. She's super confident. And people, especially women on social media, have like really responded to... Dina being their spirit animal, uh, <laughs> Dina being somebody who like inspires them and stuff like that, which has been like such a fun thing. It's so cool to like get to play a character that not only is beloved, but that people like really look to as a source of like inspiration for confidence. I mean, I do personally. There's times in my life where I'm like, I should be more like Dina about this. I should really stop the negative self-talk. You know what I mean? There's no time for it. <laughs> Is she your spirit animal? I think she is on some level. Yeah, absolutely. Where people think that we're, people assume that we're alike, and, and I'm like, we're alike in some ways, but man, I don't know that many people that have that level of confidence, but no. I admire it. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, she kicks a lot of ass, and she's going to be, I, I'm assuming she's going to play a major role in the union. Um, yeah. Going forward, what are you hoping to see for her next season with the, with the formation of the union? I mean, I'm excited. It's always fun to get to see her in anything with Amy. I think that people really respond to the Dina Amy stuff, and so it's always kind of fun to get to see the Rizzoli and Isles of it all. I think it's going to be interesting going into this season because obviously Amy is kind of wavering on what her position is, and I'm curious to see what they do with Dina because I'm curious to see, does she does she waver? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I think it could be an interesting kind of dichotomy. Again, since we did see her in that season four finale, making comments about like, well, if you go to the movie, if you sneak into the movies, you're going to get kicked down, yeah. but then she still helped Mateo at the end of the episode, yeah. um, which is something I don't know if she would have done in season one, but I think that she has grown over the course of the seasons, uh, and certainly her loyalty to that those people has grown. And so I think it's really interesting to get to see, like, does she align where you think she would align, or does she align somewhere a little bit differently? I think those are kind of some interesting choices that they've been playing with, which is exciting. Which way do you hope she goes? I, you know, I always, I just never want her to seem like a sociopath. That's been my thing from the very beginning, is that I'm like, she has to have some real emotions, and she has to have some real colors, so that she doesn't, because it'd be very easy to play this character, because it's so funny, it'd be very easy to play this character as, like, She's just this all the time. She's like a metronome. Um, so I like to, to do anything that's not necessarily what you see coming. I think that's always a more interesting choice. I also like to see, we've never gotten to see her really be vulnerable. Like who are the people in her life that make her lower status? Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. who are the people that, that rock her foundation? That's something that I also hope to get to play with. Oh, I did like in terms of vulnerability, her and help Blend with yeah. All of that. So, um, what was that of, like playing that part of it? How do you I... think that affected Dina's character? I really loved that actually. I, when we first they first brought up the surrogacy storyline, I was like, really? Like, are people gonna buy this? Does this make sense? Because her and Glenn hate each other so much, or rather, she hates him so much. Um, <laughs> but but then it started to make so much sense to me that she has this like sense of responsibility for everybody in that story. That she's like, don't let anybody else do this. I'll do it properly. Um, you're so lost. Let me fix this for you. But then also, what we got to see also was that moment. I love getting to play that moment where they tell her she's gonna have to have the C-section and she gets really scared. And she grabs for his arm and was like, please don't leave me. And that, to me, really speaks to she doesn't actually hate him. She's yeah. wildly irritated by him all the time. <laughs> um, but much like you would be by a sibling or by a family member. And I think for her, that's really the, the kind of, this is her life. Like, that store is her life. She doesn't want to be the manager because she doesn't want more responsibility. She just wants to live in this family that she's lived in for the past 15 years or however long. So that was a really fun thing to get to play. And I loved getting to play that scene with the baby at the end. And I improvised a bunch of stuff, which they used, which was super fun. Um, if you ever meet a man with a houseboat, run the other way. That was one of my... <laughs> I'm just going to tell you my favorite jokes that I came up with. Um, what a narcissist. But, uh, but I thought that that was a great moment, too, because it was like, we got to see her have this moment, but she wasn't super, like, she didn't want to hold the baby. It's like, oh, I don't, I don't want to touch it, yeah. but I want to have a moment with it. And that, to me, was just very true of Dina. And also in the episode uh, where they had the, the, the daycare, I thought we handled it really well there, too, where she's like, I don't... It's like... She's not maternal. We're not, you know, betraying who she is as a character, but she's also like, I'm not going to let you put this baby in a cart. 
Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, not, I'm just not going to let you do yeah. that, you know? So I think it's always fun to, like, where are those lines for her? Yeah. The rivalry with uh, Denise at the other store, right? It's with Denise is her sister. Okay. It's Colleen at the other store. Oh, Colleen. Right, 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 right. Yes. But yes, so good gonna, call. Will we get more of I that, hope so. I hope so. That's been one of my requests when I've gone in and talked to them. I was like, do we get to meet Colleen? Is it happening? <laughs> do we get to meet Denise? Yeah. I mean, my hope, my hope is yes. I want, I would love it if, you know, she's, she's painted this woman to be such a monster and then she's just like the nicest <laughs> lady and it's like, but it's all fake. Like, I can just see Denise. <laughs> it's, all, it's all an act. I can see the whole thing. What other requests have you put in? Mark Hamill to play my father. I have been campaigning <laughs> yes. for this. Yes. He's he's a fan of the show. Yeah. I've tweeted. He's tweeted back. And I'm just like, what do we need to do to make this happen? I just think it would be the funniest. You should run into him. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> just film Also, like, here. not a good, like, I'm not great. There, I'm not great in those scenarios. Again, this is where, like, the non-Dina confidence comes in. I met Misha Collins two years ago and like sputtered and then just held up my phone for a selfie. <laughs> like just so embarrassing. I was like, this is, I was like, I'm a big fan. Like, like voice cracking and then just was like, oh, and he was like, yeah, okay. And then I was like, what are you doing, Lauren? It was just, yeah, I don't do well. I don't do well with this experience at all. Do you, have you had those sorts of fan experiences? I have and I, and if somebody is really struggling, I always tell them that story. I always tell them, "Don't worry, I did this with Misha Collins. I totally get it. It's okay. Don't don't freak out. Everything's fine." Thank you guys so yeah. Much. Thank you.